afternoon and evening hours. So this is where that cold front is positioned now, just now entering the northwestern side of the state. We're in a still a southwesterly wind flow, but we'll get a wind shift later on into the evening hours too, and it's going to stream in much cooler air along with these showers that are coming with the front. So let's time it out here on CBS 4 Future View. This puts us at 1.30 p.m. I even think that at this time, this is still a little overdone. I think we'll still see mostly isolated showers. And then as we head later into the afternoon by 5 o'clock, we'll start to see more of these filling in. Still not everybody getting wet for that evening commute, but I wouldn't rule out a few thunderstorms in there too and some heavy downpours, of course, with that. And then we'll hit, hit and miss showers as we head through the evening hours. Now those showers will really fill in as that front stalls off to our east later on tonight, and it's going to continue producing showers into your Wednesday. Wednesday is looking to be a rather soggy day, especially starting in the morning, and then those showers continue on as we head into the afternoon and evening. Take a look at these rainfall totals between now and early Thursday morning. Thursday is when that rain finally exits. We could pick up another one to two inches of rainfall with the primary threat for heavier rain being off in our eastern counties where it'll be closer to where that front stalls. Temperature is also another big story. We're in the mid 70s now at the warmest they'll be for today. Then they'll slowly start falling as we get more rain introduced to the area. But by tomorrow, we'll be on gusty northerly winds. We'll see those winds gusting 30 plus miles an hour, and then we'll be struggling for tomorrow to get out of the 50s. So it'll be wind whipped rain for that Wednesday and temperatures at high of 60 degrees Wednesday afternoon. By Thursday morning, we're down to 48 degrees. Those showers exit early and we're looking at a high still not all that warm 63 degrees. Then we start to get back on track as we start fall tomorrow. We'll start feeling better as we head into the weekend 70s Friday, Saturday and Sunday upper 70s by Monday. Angela.